we're asking people about, as scientists, what are some soft skills that come in handy when this, you're in this type of career? Well, soft skill, I guess, I mean, there are quite a, a lot, right? I mean, it all depends on what career you want to, I guess, embark. For me, working in industry, I think, I mean, the number one soft skill, I would say, is interpersonal skills. I mean, you have to be able to work with other people, be able to collaborate with other people, because in industry, it's really, I mean, you can't claim kind of individual ownership for any given project. There are so many people working together. So, I mean, you have your deliverables and then you also have to rely on other people to kind of deliver information for you. So that's why cl collaboration and interpersonal skill is really, I mean, just very, very important. Really kind of putting yourself in someone else's shoes. So you can kind of anticipate what it is they need, what it is they're actually looking for and thinking about when they're coming to you with some query or something to make that process of communicating with people efficient. I would say. How important is learning proper communication to get that message across yes, for the early is. scientists yes, especially? It, it can be beneficial for both parties, for the society and for the scientists, because the language, the, the, we, we have to uh, promote and develop a common language. For anyone in this particular field who is um, a thought leader, um, you're always going to have uh, differing opinions and you know as a result of that you know those types of conversations if you don't have the, the proper uh, soft skills can get a little bit testy and so you have to be able to temper or have the right temperament I should say to be able to communicate uh, across um, cross function but also even within the field as well with other scientists. Want more toxicology? Don't go anywhere. Click the link right here to watch all of our content from SOT TV 2025. Have fun.